So guys, we had a bit of a tragic accident, tragedy, I don't know. So I went to eat dinner after scratching this, the lantern part, and a lizard went and pooped on the drawing. That's kind of disgusting and kind of unhygienic, so I guess I will be drawing this again. I'll probably just cut it out and remember to record when I get back to this portion. <sighs> this sucks. I'm so mad. <gasps> hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So, this is actually the what the first video that isn't Inktober related in a while. I guess you guys must be relieved by now if you're still watching my videos. But hey, welcome back. This is my, well, first let's address what happened. Obviously, there was a tragedy earlier in the video. What happened was I was drawing this drawing. I had it all sketched out, thumbnailed. I really panned it well. I had the colors down well. Yada, yada, yada. I was ready to go. And then I finished working on the lantern after some... It took me some time to get the lantern done. And I went to eat dinner, as I mentioned. And the lizard went and pooped on it. So I ripped out that page because it was still... I didn't really say it in that earlier clip, but it was still wet and icky and I doubt I really... I doubt I want to deal with that or work with that, so... E I just ripped it off and as you can see, I'm redoing it. So we're working on my Christmas video for the year and here's the thing. I may have mentioned in another video that I was planning to do something sort of special for Christmas like, like, like last year I did an acrylic paintings which is something I didn't really show much on the channel but I knew how to do and it's something I didn't really do very often so I wanted to challenge myself and make something special by using a different medium for my Christmas video that didn't turn out for a pretty good reason um, I was planning to do something special, like I might use acrylic or oil or colored pencil or oil pastel or something like that. But when I was walking around the mall the other day, I saw a bunch of Christmas lanterns. If you're not familiar with that, you can just google like Philippine Parol or we call lanterns in the Philippines Parol and they're basically really really pretty, uh, super well designed and actually pretty popular lanterns that light up usually in the shape of a star, or Santa, or reindeers, or something like that. And they're super... you see them pretty much everywhere, and they're super pretty. And then I thought, I had an idea of like, using a parol in one of my drawings, or specifically for the Christmas drawing. And the reason I didn't continue, or, you know, use a different medium as I promised, was because the way that the idea formed in my head, or the way it popped up, was it was a very much a watercolor piece and I feel like I would have been not happy or kind of disappointed if I didn't do watercolor with it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I might, unless I get another situation like this, I will do one of those special drawings for the new year. I'm thinking about either using colored pencils again because I've only done one or two drawings for colored pencils and I kind of want to get better at it. Or, I do an acrylic painting again. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll deal with it one by one and we'll see what happens. Right. What else? So, this actually took two days-ish to finish, which isn't really new for me anymore. But I haven't really been drawing for a while. Aside from the Inktober thing, it's been a while since I drew in color and like the really full out thing. So... I had to readjust a little from Inktober, like, you know, the permanence of ink and stuff like that. So yeah, um, hmm. the idea of this was like, yeah, it's a. I wanted to make a drawing centered on a parol or a lantern, and I sort of wanted to draw a cute guy, <laughs> quote unquote cute. It's just an anime guy, uh, a good looking anime guy, which is pretty much the point. But whatever, um, I wanted to draw him like sort of holding a floating lantern or like I wanted him to have this vibes of being like a guide or a prince or something like that or someone who 
uh, guides or lights the way with a Christmas lantern, and I thought it's a cute idea, so I went with that. And I wanted to make the lantern stand out, but I also want him to stand out a little, so it was I had to like plan it out in sketches and really think it out. Of course, one thing I didn't really plan out 100% for the colors, so I kind of did default to my usual blues and purples, but I felt like it really fit well, because like, if I wanted him to be like a prince or a guide, purples really, for purples and blue tend to signify royalty or nobility, so it really did turn out. And also since I wanted him to be someone that is guiding the way, and I wanted the lantern to stand out, using a more subdued color for the clothing was somewhat a way to contrast and draw attention to the lantern. But I did make a few mistakes like this one. Um, it's more of a design mistake or a, de a design decision I probably didn't think out pretty well. Uh, Pyrols tend to be made out of like wires and stuff like that. I don't know what I made out of to be honest, but um, usually they do have like a sort of a black border or a black frame. But I didn't really um, properly think that through, and the the border, the the black wings were too black. It was too dark. Uh, perhaps I should have used like paints gray instead, instead of a black, or I should have watered down the black a lot. So that was a thing. Another thing that happens that I've been using the Sakura Koi watercolor travel kit, the you know the one that's pretty famous. Um, and those are super vibrant, as you may know if you have it. And I haven't really been using the weaves in a while. So, the vibrance, the difference in the vibrance of the colors threw me off a little bit, especially with the red and the green. I was expecting it to be super bright, but I did forget that weaves is a little duller than the Sakura Koi. So, when I was laying it down, it was, it was like, oh shit, this is how do I fix this? So, I did manage, I think, in the end, but I had to really leave it alone for a while and think about it. Um, as you notice, I didn't really do any lines this time. Uh, I really did want it to be really soft and somewhat seamless, so I focused not to use any pen at all, except for the usual white signal pen, uh, which is just highlighting. I really endeavored not to use any black ball pen or any kind of marker or liner in the end because I used to do that and I'm not satisfied with how sharp the colors are or how different it pops from one another. I tend to add like a black line or I would use colored pencils or um, the pit markers to sort of draw the lines in after drawing but this time I really really made sure to make my lines crisp and obvious and you know not to make stuff blend together which I think I did achieve pretty well so now we were actually this is one of my favorite parts I really like working on these fluffy linings on capes uh, if you've been watching me for quite some time you may have watched the one for um, Artoje Pendragon also known as Saber from the Fate franchise she has a cloak there that is like has all this fluff and I really love working on that Sadly, the fluff on this lantern prince is minimal, so there isn't much of it. But it's still pretty cute, I think. So I gave him red eyes, because like... There's no other red in the picture except for the background later and on the puddle. So I wanted to incorporate that a bit more so I gave him red eyes to sort of contrast a little bit to the sort of darkish bluish hair. Well, it's blue hair but I wanted it closer somewhat to black so I would overlay a bit of black on that later. And yeah. So right now what I wanted to do, this is the really important part, is the shine of the puddle. Um, Typically, they're really colorful, but the inside bulb is either white or yellow. Uh, traditionally, it's yellow, so it gives off this really nice warm glow. So I was very careful in making sure that the, the wash of yellow, where the light would hit, was really properly applied. And that I also wanted to have a trail, so I would add a trail later in the background. 
but it, the yellow was super important and I wanted to make sure that it's really obvious that it's glowing and it's not just floating there and it really did make it pop out from the princess body. Here's another favorite. I really like doing galaxies though I, I haven't really done one in a long while but for a very very long time when I, when I discovered the technique on how to do it I just kept on doing the space galaxy background thing and then I stopped because like all of my works had them and it was starting to get like repetitive but it's been a while and I'm allowed to do it again and it really gave this really nice ethereal guide feel to him and it really made the piece pop and yeah you know like it made it more vibrant which makes me happy because I did tie it out but I didn't 100% have everything plotted out in mind so there were times of uncertainty like oh is the galaxy thing much too much or it, would it fit and I'm glad that everything turned out well. I trusted the process and I trusted my inner design sense. It doesn't always 100% work but you gotta trust yourself sometimes you know. So yeah and surprisingly I talked a lot. <laughs> I, ex I was expecting to run out of things by the sixth minute but hey Yay. <laughs> so, I hope you guys have been doing well for the holiday, holiday season. I know it's kind of stressful. There's a lot to do. You have to deal with family. Sometimes you're forced into gatherings you don't really want to go to. I hope you're just able to weather through all of that. Or, you know, try to find some fun into it, even if it's like a forced situation. And... You know, what are your plans for the holidays, maybe? Are you going to stay at home? Are you going to the movies? Are you going to be, like, in the province? Or maybe going out with your friends? Or that special someone? I'm going to be at home, as usual. I usually spend my holidays with my family. Since I'm an only child, I tend to bond with them a lot. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. I will be uploading a video after this next Saturday, which is also Christmas-themed. <laughs> So please stay tuned in for that. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt, like or subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I will see you around.